This country's capital city is considered one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Syria, known for its rich cultural heritage and historical significance. Join us and stay to learn more about this country's ancient past, geography, and people. Syria is located in the Middle East, bordering the Mediterranean Sea, between Lebanon and Turkey, with an area of 185,180 square kilometers or 71,498 square miles. Syria is slightly larger than North Dakota. The country has a strategic location at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and Africa. The terrain of Syria consists mostly of desert plateau with narrow coastal plains and mountains in the west. The highest peak is Mount Hermon at 2,814 meters or 9,232 feet, located in the southwest along the border with Lebanon. Major rivers include the Euphrates, which flows through the center of the country from north to south. The largest cities are the capital Damascus, Aleppo in the north, and Homs in central Syria. Syria has a mostly desert climate with hot, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. The coastal areas have a Mediterranean climate with warm to hot summers and mild, wet winters. Droughts are frequent and have contributed to desertification in parts of the country. The country faces several environmental issues, including water scarcity, overgrazing, soil erosion, and desertification. Rapid population growth and industrialization have placed pressure on natural resources. The government has aimed to increase the amount of forested land to counter desertification. However, progress has been hindered by the ongoing civil war that began in 2011. The majority of Syrians are ethnic Arabs, comprising about 60% of the population. Other major ethnic groups include Kurds, Syriac Arameans, Armenians, Turkmen, and Circassians. The Kurds are the largest ethnic minority group concentrated in northern and northeastern Syria. The official language of Syria is Arabic, spoken by about 90% of Syrians as a first language. Syrian Arabic has several regional dialects. Other languages include Kurdish, Armenian, Aramaic, and Neo-Aramaic, spoken by ethnic minorities. The main religions in Syria are Islam and Christianity. Around 87% of Syrians are Muslim, primarily adhering to Sunni Islam. Alawites, Twelver Shia, and Ismaili Muslims make up the remaining Muslim population. About 10% of people in Syria are Christians. The main Christian groups are Eastern Orthodox and Catholic, as well as Armenian, Syriac, and Maronite Christians. Smaller religious minorities include Druze and Yazidis. Syrian cuisine is one of the most delicious and vibrant in the Middle East. It features a wide array of dishes and ingredients that reflect the country's diverse cultures and influences. A popular street food, shawarma consists of thin slices of meat stacked and roasted vertically on a spit. Beef and chicken are commonly used. The meat is sliced off and served wrapped in a pita or flatbread with vegetables and yogurt sauce. Shawarma stands can be found all over Syria. Manakish is a dome-shaped pie made with dough topped with thyme, cheese, ground beef, or minced lamb. Similar to a pizza, it can be served for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Manakish is a staple of Syrian cuisine that can be found across bakeries. Yabrak are vine leaves stuffed with a mixture of rice, tomatoes, parsley, onions, and sometimes meat. They are simmered in olive oil and lemon juice for robust flavor. Yabrak is a popular vegetarian dish served as an appetizer or side. Sheikh al-Mashi consists of zucchini, eggplants, carrots, tomatoes, and other vegetables hollowed out and stuffed with meat and rice. The stuffed vegetables are simmered in a tomato sauce and served warm. 
it makes for a hearty, satisfying meal. Syria has a long and rich history dating back at least 10,000 years. Strategically located in the Middle East, it has been home to many civilizations and cultures over the millennia. From the ancient city of Ebla to being part of the Roman Empire and Islamic Caliphates, the country has played an important role in the region throughout history. Some of the earliest human settlements date back to around 10,000 BC in what is now Syria. The first established civilization was the Kingdom of Ebla, which flourished in the third millennium BC. Important ancient cities like Aleppo and Damascus were established during this period. The Akkadians, Amorites, and Canaanites were among the peoples who inhabited early Syria. In the first millennium BC, the Phoenicians established trading colonies along the Mediterranean coast. The Arameans rose to power in the region until the Neo-Assyrian Empire conquered Syria in the 8th century BC. After this, it was ruled by the Neo-Babylonians, Persians, and Seleucid Greeks. Pompey the Great captured Syria for the Roman Republic in 64 BC. For the next seven centuries, it was under Roman and later Byzantine control as part of the Eastern Roman Empire. Culturally diverse cities like Antioch and Palmyra thrived during this time. It came under Muslim Arab rule in the 7th century AD after the Islamic conquests. Under the Umayyad Caliphate, Damascus became the capital of the expanding Islamic Empire in the 7th century. Successor dynasties continued to rule Syria until the 11th century arrival of Turkish peoples like the Seljuks. Later medieval dynasties included the Zengids and Ayyubids. The Crusaders held parts of Syria for periods during the Middle Ages. Saladin recaptured the country leading to the Third Crusade against Richard the Lionheart. The Mamluks took control in the 13th century until the Ottoman defeat of the Mamluks in 1516. The Ottoman Empire controlled Syria for over 400 years until World War I. Under Ottoman rule, Syria was divided into provinces like Damascus and Aleppo, which were ruled by local governors. Ottoman power declined by the 19th century, leading to increasing European influence. During World War I, the British and Arabs captured Syria from the Ottomans. After the war, the League of Nations granted France a mandate over the country in 1920. Syrian nationalism grew during the period, leading to uprisings and eventual independence in 1946. Since independence, Syria has undergone periods of political instability and conflict. The current civil war began in 2011 during the Arab Spring protests. Despite its tumultuous modern history, Syria continues to reflect its rich and diverse cultural heritage. Syria's economy has seen its ups and downs throughout history. Situated along ancient trade routes, Syrian merchants and craftsmen were trading textiles, gold, spices, and more with neighboring lands for millennia. It became a center of regional commerce under the Romans and later formed a crucial hub along the Silk Road. Over time, Syria evolved an economy based on agriculture, handicrafts, industry, and its modest oil reserves. But instability and unrest have repeatedly disrupted Syria's economic fortunes. Periods of prosperity were followed by times of hardship and decline. In recent decades, Syria had been building up its manufacturing, finance, and oil sectors, tapping into its educated workforce and entrepreneurial spirit. But conflict and chaos have taken an immense toll since 2011. Years of war have decimated businesses, wrecked infrastructure, discouraged investment, and hobbled Syrian industry. Its GDP dripped from $252 billion in 2010 to 11 billion today. Syria now faces crises like high unemployment, growing public debt, a weakened currency, and shortages of critical goods. But the Syrian people have persevered through past trials over thousands of years. With their famed merchants and skilled workers, 
as well as support from abroad, Syrians could rebuild and restore their country to prosperity once again. Their future success will depend on achieving lasting stability and openness. Syria's political system is authoritarian under President Bashar al-Assad, who succeeded his father Hafez al-Assad in 2000. Foreign relations have often been turbulent with complex alliances and rivalries in the region. Syria was stable for decades under Assad's rule, until protests in 2011 calling for political reforms. The Assad regime responded with heavy crackdowns that escalated unrest. As the country descended into civil war, rebel groups were formed to fight government forces. The main parties include Assad's government and military, Syrian opposition rebel groups, Kurdish forces, and extremist factions like ISIS. Foreign countries have also intervened, with Russia and Iran backing Assad and the U.S. supporting some rebel groups. Key events have included rebel gains from 2012 to 2013, ISIS taking territory, Russia's 2015 intervention, Assad regaining control over major cities, and Kurdish fighters establishing autonomy in the Northeast. Millions have fled as refugees. World powers remain divided on the conflict in Syria, with peace talks showing little progress. In response, Syria faced suspension from the Arab League, while military strikes have targeted both extremists and Assad's forces for alleged war crimes. Additionally, sanctions have been imposed as part of the international response to address the ongoing challenges in the region. Assad remains in power, but Syria is devastated after a decade of conflict. Moscow continues military support for Damascus. Violence has abated, but no political resolution is in sight. Rebuilding Syria will require a compromise between Assad and opposition groups. You enjoyed this video on Syria. You'll love this next one.